Hello friends, welcome to my house. Glad to have you. We started selling these little bottles of concentrate at our cafe and we thought it'd be a cool idea to show you some of the uses for it in the home. So we'll start simple and just do like a cold brew and then get a little more fun as we go on. Let's just start by making some cold brew because it may sound obvious, but this is cold brew concentrate. And if we just took a, a swig of this, it'd be pretty intense. Yeah, almost like drinking espresso, honestly, just really cold. If we wanna do cold brew, really at least the ratio that we say is good is one part of this cold brew concentrate and then 2.5, 2.6 parts of water. So for example, for a cold brew at home, I'm gonna do about three ounces of this concentrate and I'll use about eight ounces of water and uh, we should have some yummy, some yummy cold brew. So I'm just gonna plop a couple cubes in here and then really whatever you got at home will work. You know, you can go scale and go by gram for weighing this out. If you got like a little cocktail set up, you could use one of these measuring guys. You're at home, who cares? If someone in your house leaves you a Google review, that's, you got some weird roommates. Um, so let's just do like three ounces of this gold here. So that's two on the big side. I'll flip it over and do one. Cool. And then I'm just gonna head over, because this cup's about 12 ounces and I already have some ice in here, I'm just gonna fill it up with water from my fancy filter. Cold brew. You wanna try it? Okay, that's drink number one. We'll hype for our second drink. Uh, our most popular beverage at the cafe is our oat milk lavender vanilla latte. And now that we're selling this, you can get mighty close to making it at home. Got a little sneak peek. I brought some lavender vanilla syrup from the cafe, but this may be coming in a bottle like this to a home near you. So for this one, there might be a little bit more of a recipe just because there's a couple ingredients involved, but I'm just gonna build it on my scale here to make it easier on me. So I'm gonna do 80 grams of this, which is just a little under three ounces. So I'm gonna go glug, 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 glug. So we're gonna stay on that same like 2.6 ratio, which would make me wanna put in a little over 200 grams of oat milk. Glug, 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 glug. And then at the cafe, we do about an ounce of this lavender vanilla syrup. Totally nailing all these numbers too, don't worry about it. A fun trick, since we do the nitro infused oat milk lavender vanilla latte, I can kind of mimic that a little bit. If you have a cocktail tin, you can throw a cube in there, just like one chunky one, to aerate it and give it some life, and then pour it over some ice. Lock her on. Boop. So fun. Beep. We're just going all in. So just the shake, you know, aerates, it gives it a little bit of a creamier flavor than if you just poured it over ice. You get a little cascade effect there. Mmm. Oh yeah. So we're two drinks down. One more to go with summer in route. We thought it'd be cool to plug a little cold brew lemonade. Uh, a fan favorite. We've done a couple of renditions of like a mojito that we call the Sprojito that's a citrusy coffee drink, but this one's just a little more plain and simple that you can do at home. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a cup of ice. So for this one, we'll do another cocktail shake just to get all the ingredients incorporated nicely. We're gonna do 60 grams, which is two ounces of the cold brew. As you can tell, it's getting a little less per drink just because this is becoming more of like an ingredient and less of like the main focus in a cold brew. Two ounces. We'll do about four ounces or a buck 20 of lemonade. I don't like my lemonade drinks really sweet. So I use a little bit less lemonade and I'm gonna fill half the cup with some sparkling water to give it a little bit more fun of a drinking experience. So I'll do something like that. And then once again, we're going to just add a little bit of ice and shake this guy up. 
And a little cool trick you can do, just throw the bow and you unlocked it. And then you wanna be careful with this because sometimes when you're pouring stuff over sparkling water, things can get hairy. So I'm just gonna go nice and slow. There's a couple things you could do to add a little flair to it. A little lemon wedge maybe, huh? Tucked in there. And then uh, I grabbed some lemon balm from outside. You just wanna give it a little, little activation to the nose. Nice. Don't be afraid to mix up the recipe. Do a little heavier on the lemonade, do a little heavier on the cold brew, whatever you want. But this is a good baseline to start with. Here, cheers. And that's, uh, that's just a few pretty simple couple ingredient ways that you can have fun with some cold brew concentrate at home. Yeah, we hope you enjoy. I think it'd be cool to share maybe some recipes that you guys have made or want to share with us and we'll continue to figure out some fun things we can do with this. Thanks for watching. Love ya.